Hey y'all and thanks for stopping by Design by Kathy. Today I'm going to be doing a pour. It's going to be a gadget day. A crazy gadget day at that. Uh, I'm going to be using this little dust pan. Uh, my nephew sent me a link the other day to, to a video that he came across that that uh, used a little dust pan and it was looking really cool but then the video cut off and I don't even know whose video it was I just know my nephew sent it to me because uh, he not only of course knows that I do fluid art but uh, my fa my whole family loves to we have family day sometimes and and do our fluid uh, art together which is a lot of fun um, so anyway I'm gonna give it a whirl I'm gonna use a little bit bigger canvas than normal for my videos uh, because I thought if we're going to use something this size, I've got to have room to put it on it, you know. So, I'm going to use a little bit bigger canvas. But uh, anyway, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you, you subscribers. Glad that you tuned in. And hey, if you're just stopping by Design by Kathy, I hope that you will subscribe as well. And don't forget to ring the bell so you'll know when we have a new video. So anyway, I'm going to get set up. And hey, is everybody missing their hair dryer, hair dryer, hair stylist and a colorist right now? Well, as you can tell, I'm, I'm missing, <laughs> I'm kind of in need of one right now, but hey, you know, we're just going to go with what we've got. So let's get right to it. So I have a variety of colors going on here. I've got some sea mist, some deep coral, uh, some, I think, metallic uh, gold, uh, Phalo blue, uh, burnt umber, raw sienna, another coral, uh, orangey coral, and then uh, a little tan. Uh, these are all paints that uh, I've used, and I had put uh, put these little lids on them. Uh, Thankfully, I've gotten better at labeling what's in it because sometimes I think I can remember and I cannot. So anyway, but I wanted to go ahead and use, they say for a pretty good long while as long as you've got them closed up, but they don't say forever. So um, let's see, what do I want to start with? I think I want to start with this one. And again, I didn't see the end result, so I don't really know what his end result uh, even remotely looked like. But I thought, hey, it sounds, it, it looks cool. Let's give it a whirl here. And I don't know that I'll have to use all of these paints up. Um, I just didn't want to didn't want to run out while I was filling so I uh, wanted to be ready Hmm, so many decisions. All right, let me grab the canvas. We're going to be pouring it on a 20 by 20 can canvas. So let me grab that, and we'll see what happens here. All right. All right, I had some paint trying to escape. 
So find something better to stabilize it when you have to set it down. So let's give it a whirl and see what happens here. Everything's wanting to flow on off of here. I want to make sure I let all of this run off because I want to make sure I have enough and I'm not sure how thick some of this is. So, don't want to run out. Okay, here we go, folks. I still see a lot of paint left in here and I need some more paint. Let's just see what we can get out of it. Oh, that's not going to be much at all. Some of this is already kind of looking like, to me, Southwest colors. Remember when that was really popular? I had a whole Southwest designed kitchen, or decorated. Not designed, but decorated. I loved it. I love the Southwest colors. Okay, now I wasn't liking where this was going at all. Just was not speaking to me. So rather than scraping it off and starting over and losing these colors that I've worked so hard to save, I just mixed up a few more. I had some already mixed again, and I just added to all this. And so I'm going to start up here because this is where we're really naked and missing paints. And I just didn't like all that. That was just too much of that beige color. Now we got a lot of brown going on, but we're going to implement some others back in here, hopefully. Again, this is a 20 by 20 canvas, so you know it's taken a considerable amount more paint than uh, I normally am doing when I do a video.
I don't want to lose all this blue. I really like the blue. But I need it to come this direction some. Let's see if I can get the blue back down a little bit. I hope that I'm... I can't see what I'm doing, so I hope I've got it in the screen still. One little corner to go here. Wow, we were able to keep, there was a little blobby, I don't want a little blobby in there. Uh, we were able to keep a lot of, um, those original colors that I started with. Wow. Well, I don't know about you guys. Uh, you let me hear from you. I hadn't heard from some of you in a while. I'm getting lonely. So, um, let me hear from you. Uh, I think all in all, this turned out pretty darn cool. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see see it from this angle. And I'm really, really making a mess today, guys. Ah, yeah, man. I like this blue and the brown. That's just speaking to me. I like it a lot. Wowzer. Ah, Yay. Okay, I'm glad I didn't scrape it off because we did keep some of those original colors. Had to add some more. Got some super interesting things going on here. I'm going to raise it so you can see and I'll let that blue move on a little bit more. Wow, this just almost looks like I'm not holding my hand over it. I'm so bad about that. Almost looks like a little river running through here. I like it. This is just interesting i don't know if i would have picked all these colors just at on a whim but doing it like this uh hmm. man i'm excited hey i want you guys to be excited too so y'all pour some paint and get excited and let me know how it goes thank you all so much hope everybody's healthy and i'll see you next time